Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS and salutations to all you occupied that pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Coming back at you with another lesson. It's going to be about um, the Lord's judgment on these um, two third niggas out here as um, icons, or idols, these people that they worship, man. And the latest victim, um, the Lord has struck out is this guy, Pop Smoke, this rapper, which I never heard of him before, but he was a very um, well-known, famous rapper out there you know, from Brooklyn. And um, what's uh, what's amazing nowadays is how fast these guys, these rappers can come up online, man. You know, it's like overnight they put up a video on YouTube and overnight they become um, successful. They start touring and making all types of money and they become real famous. And, um, hey, people know, people like them and everything. So I've never heard of this guy. Uh, did a little research on him, uh, heard a couple of his songs and, like every other two third nigga, it's about um, gangs, dope, whores, violence. You know, basically, you know, glorifying the um, the nigga kingdom. You know, and um, and the Lord brought judgment on the man. Said some guys came in there and uh, in his crib, he was renting out in L.A. and killed them. They say it was a hit. They ain't take no money or nothing else. It's supposed to have been a hit. And um, that's the Grim Reaper. It's the Grim Reaper coming to. Uh, Reap your soul, man. The Lord controls the devil, man. He controls the um, Grim Reaper, and that's what happened to this guy, man. He got took out. So as fast as he um, became famous and made all his money and everything, he got took out just as quick, man. So um, they was renting them, man. You go and research how much them places cost to rent, man. It's not cheap, man. Okay, them places be costing like 60000 80000 just for one day to rent it. So one day or one week, something like that. I was doing some research on that. Um, it's not cheap at all, man. So this guy had a lot of money. And you can tell from the picture, he got on all that jewelry. He made a lot of money. And um, the Lord took him out, man. The Lord ain't playing, man. So these two-thirds, your idols are going down. And there's just been a lot of rappers getting um, took out, period, man. You know, what's this other guy? He was, I think he's from Chicago, named Juice World. He did a, um, he had od you know, they're overdosing, so Lord taking them out, man. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one, man. I'm gonna make it um short and sweet. But um, hey, Lord make an example. I don't, this this type of stuff should make you wanna um, these so called gangster guys wanna get out of that life, man. Cause there's only two ways out, and that's death in prison. But these knuckleheads don't um seem to get it. You know, and so that's why the Lord sends um, the Grim Reaper out to take these niggas out with all that gangster mess. Okay, it's nothing, it's nothing great about gangster rap or, or the gangster life. You end up dead or in prison. That's the only two ways out of that crap, man. So um, this is Amos um, 3 and 2. It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, and the families of the earth are the different nations out there. Okay? It says, therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. So the Lord is punishing two-thirds of our people, man, for their iniquities, man. Okay, this guy going around glorifying drug dealing and gang banging and promiscuous women and drug abuse, uh, alcoholism. And what happened, man? The Lord punished them, man. And it's, it's not just this guy's two-thirds all over, you know, just out there randomly doing crazy things. Well, I ain't going to say crazy things, stupid things. Okay? The Lord God has a day for you. And uh, when your day comes, your day comes, man. Okay? It's not a game, man. So you're going to get it together and fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. Okay? To have knowledge and wisdom. Not to be out here doing stupid things, man. It's going to put your life in jeopardy. So, this is what happened. This is the idol of the young people out here. This guy, like this, pop smoke. And, um, hey, judgment came to him. So, let me jump over here to Jeremiah real quick. So, two-thirds of our people, they're going to learn, man. They're going to learn the hard way. 
Okay. This is um, Jeremiah 3 and 1. It says, they say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? That's a question. Okay. If you have a woman and your woman go cheat on you, would you come back to her? And my, 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 my answer to that is hell no. Okay. The wound has been, the, 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 another rod has been in the wound, man. Hell no. Okay. It says, shall not that land be greatly polluted? That's a question, man. Absolutely. That land is greatly polluted. That wound, man. Okay. It says, but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith the Lord. Okay. And that's Israel, man. Our people, man. Okay. When you go out there and worship idols like this guy right here on the screen, or and other entertainers and, and you know sports people, movie people, and like Caesar Borgia and these different gods from these nations, man. You're playing a harlot, man. Okay? You're playing a harlot with the Lord, man. And the Lord asked the question, would would I would you come to me again? But the Lord what keeps forgiving us over and over again, man. But you as a man, think about that, man. You a man or your woman go out there and cheat on you. You cheating on the Lord when you go out there and worship these other idols and worship these type of people, man. This guy, like this guy. Okay? You playing the harlot with the Lord, man. And you, you're greatly polluted, man. Your mind is greatly polluted. So, the Lord comes and... um. Brings us back, man. Once once the Lord brings you back and you have um, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures and how you're supposed to walk, man, you're not supposed to go back and do those things, these foolish things that the two-thirds do, man, because that makes you a two-third and a hypocrite. Okay? You're supposed to know better. That's why these rappers, man, we really shouldn't be listening to these clowns anyway, man. What are they honestly talking about that's going to uplift your spirit? Nothing but mess. That goes on in the streets. So. It is what it is man. Let me go over here to. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I'm going to get somebody to do the rhyme. Thinking about these curses man. And this is a young guy man. There's a lot of young guys out there. That's losing their lives over the. Um, Money, power, and respect, as they say in the street. That's why they're losing their lives. Being proud, man. Okay, pride goes before destruction, man. This is um, Deuteronomy 28. And um, I'm going to start at... Let me see. 28 and... Uh, let me see here. See. Yeah, I'm going to start at 58. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 58. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of the law that is written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy power, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues, and of a long continuance, and sore sickness, and of long continuance, okay? And these are the things that the Lord prophesied that will happen to our people. The Lord was speaking through Moses that will come upon our people, man, that we disobey his law, statutes, and commandments. It says, moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee, also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in this book of this law, man. Every sickness and every plague, man. What our people got, high blood pressure is going crazy amongst our people. You got diabetes, you got HIV, you got cancer, and you got a whole bunch of other stuff out there that's messing our people up, man. It says, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for a multitude. 
because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord, thy power, man. Okay, it says, um, and it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoice over you to do, to do you good. Let me see. Wait, what was that? And to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you. Okay, so the Lord is rejoicing over destroying two thirds of our people, man, for their wickedness, man. It says, and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And that's our people, man. Idol worshiping. Worshiping Michael Jordan, some gym shoes. The Jordans. Okay, worshiping Gucci and, and what's this other guy? Versace. All you hear niggas talking about, I'm, I'm Gucci. Gucci this, Gucci that. Two-thirds, man. Just niggas, idol worshippers, man. Lord laughing when you go down. They will drive by shooting and stuff. Okay? And among these nations shall thou find no, no ease. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of the mind, man. Failing heart. Okay, falling eyes and sorrow of the man. Okay, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life, man. You are sad and nigga, you don't know what's gonna happen to you. Okay, you don't know what's gonna happen to you. The ghetto is filled with drive by shootings and gang violence, man. And this guy became a victim of violence, man. Okay, he was out there, they showed him on Instagram. Showing his money off and all this and that and third. And next thing you know, he ends up dead, man. Okay. And these are um, curses from the Lord, man. Okay. The, de the ghetto is a dangerous place, man. Okay. There's nothing safe about being in a damn ghetto, man. Okay. I'm going to read that again. Verse 66. I got to read that again. It says, And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. And shall have none assurance of thy life, man. Okay, you see a nigga walking around the neighborhood with hoodies on. You don't know what the hell they might be on. Or just a suspicious looking guy walking down the street or another Negro. That you don't recognize, especially the young people, man. You don't know what these people are up to, man. Okay, verse 67 says, In the morning thou shalt say, Would you how it were even? And at even thou shalt say, Would Yahweh it were morning? For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see, man. Okay, and all our people see is violence and nonsense going on in the ghetto, man. And stuff like this, young guys getting took out by violence. Okay? That's why we should be praying without ceasing. Like, I'm going to keep saying that, man. Praying without ceasing to get the hell out of this place, man. Okay? This is Babylon. Our people are captive here. And there's nothing good about being here, man. The majority of, of, of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in ghettos, man. In fear of their life from gang violence, robberies, and other things, man. So this is just some quick last time. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Because all I can know what um, time it is with two-thirds of our own people, man. Okay? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you occupied that pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.